y'all and welcome back to another video training. In this video training, I'm going to teach you how to create consistent images of your avatar. I know this was an ongoing issue for a lot of you, so I decided to go in depth and teach you how to create consistent images images of your avatar it's super easy and we only need one system so let's get started the tool that we're going to be using is called design that's d z i n e and it's an all-in-one ai tool it has image to image text to image consistent character feature image to video so we're going to be using the consistent character feature in order to create a consistent character i'm going to walk you through this video and i'm going to show you exactly how to do it so go sign up and let's get started so when you first sign in you're going to be on the home page and then you're going to click on all tools and you're going to go over to consistent character and you're going to click on consistent character and it's going to take us over to the consistent character feature. Once we're over on the consistent character feature, we're going to click on create a character. Once you click on create a character, you're going to click on build your character. Here is where we're going to build our consistent character and we're going to do it from an image that has already been created. So if you've already created your avatar, this is an easy way to make sure that it stays consistent. So you're going to name your character. So in this case, I'm going to name it Quita Lashawn. Once we get it named, we can go down and we can start to train this software to clone our avatar. So you can upload one to 30 images. I'm going to upload a few, but you can upload at least one so it can get an idea of how your avatar look. Once you get everything uploaded, you can start generating your avatar you're going to click on start training and it's going to charge you about 30 credits and it takes about 20 minutes in order for the system to clone your avatar. So give it about 20 minutes and we'll be back. Now that it's done generating, you're going to click on use inconsistent character. And now we're going to be in the consistent character screen of the software. And as you can see, there's my character and there's the description of my character. Now we're going to create a image with my avatar just to make sure that it did clone it right. So I'm just going to enter in a prompt. I'm pretty much asking it to put my avatar in a home office. And as you can see, every time you get ready to create a new scene, you can use the at sign to tag your avatar. We're going to hit submit and it's going to begin to submit the images for us. Um, it takes about five to 10 minutes, it say to generate the images. However, I've seen it go a little quicker, but I love this system so far. It has been doing exactly what we needed to do. Okay, now it's done generating and there she is. It looks exactly like my avatar. Now, one of them does not have her glasses on. However, it looks just like my avatar. I like both of them. If you don't like one, you can just regenerate. However, I like both. And the AI system did a great job with cloning it. Okay, so let's try putting her in a different scene. I'm just going to ask the system to put her standing in the rain looking up at the sky. And we're going to see how it turns out. So we're just going to put where we want her in the description box. Hit generate. And it's going to generate a new set of images for us. Okay, now it is done generating and it gave us two new images. She's standing out and she's looking up at the sky and she's in the rain and it looks just like my avatar. It looks exactly like my avatar. I'm actually shocked that it cloned it so well. Now I do see that she's not wearing her glasses. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to put in the description box to add her black cat eye glasses because I want her to stay consistent with uh, my normal avatar. So you just put in the description box how you want your avatar to look. Hit generate and it'll make those changes for you. Okay, so here are the new images and she is wearing her glasses now. One of them is like a little heavy set, curvy, and the other one is a little skinny. So I'll just decide which one I want to use. But as far as her face and everything, it looks the exact same. So that's how you create consistent images of your avatar. I do want to give you one tip 
though when you are creating your avatar make sure you put in the description every time you generate a new image put 3d pixar if you have a 3d pixar avatar if you have a realistic avatar don't worry about it but if you have that cartoon style avatar you must put in 3d pixar so each image can come out in that particular style okay so now i'm going to show you how to create a consistent avatar using the text to image feature you are going to press ai tools and then once you press ai tools we're going to go back to consistent character and once it's done loading we are going to go back over to choose a character then we're going to click on build your character and instead of choosing start with image we're going to go with start with a description now you will need to have a description of your avatar if you are in the ai cash school my school community then there's tons of descriptions for avatars that will help you create your avatar so you can just grab one from there and then edit it as you go so we're going to name her pam because it says name your character okay so in the describe your character box we're just going to copy and paste how we want our character to look now if you have a reference image you can upload your reference image but we're just going to create this from scratch and then you're going to decide what type of avatar you want they have different styles so you can just click here and choose the styles so what we're going to choose is and they have 88 more styles as well we are going to choose the realistic style and then we are going to hit generate now it has four images of our avatar so it has a close-up front it has a further back front and it has another one as well so we are going to go with let's go with this one and then we're going to hit start training and it's going to go through the process of training the avatar do keep in mind that this process once again takes about 30 minutes but this avatar is going to be trained and we can use her whenever we want to it's going to be consistent in every scene and in every image so we're just going to let this train and then we'll be back Okay, so now it is done generating and this is our avatar. This is the avatar that we created from a text prompt and it turned out really well. So now you know how to create consistent images of your avatar using one fast and easy tool. I hope this video was helpful and as always, I can't wait to see you on another video.